Hey guys, it's Evan Magician 34 and this is what I call Tengu Control. It's a deck I built for my locals, and I uh, figured what the heck, I'll show you guys. Um, it runs three Thunder King Ryos, of course. Runs two copies of Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, because he's really good against most of the current meta. Three copies of Reborn Tengu, hence Tengu, part of Tengu Control, because Tengu just works so well with so many things. Um, one copy of Sangan, obviously. Recruits lots of stuff. One copy of Gale the Whirlwind. One copy of Glow Up Bulb, because this guy's especially amazing with, well, almost anything. Probably the best, one of the best tuners around, actually. Two copies of Mask of Darkness. We have a pretty heavy trap lineup, and this guy lets you uh, repeat abuse it to keep your opponents under control. Um, he's a really good card in that respect. I'm also running two copies of this guy uh, for the new format. Uh, basically, new format meaning Photon Shockwave and Wind Up Zen Main. Uh, this is Karkuri Ninja Sazonk. And what Sazonk does is, whenever he's flipped face up, so that's a flip summon, or when he's flipped in battle, he just sends one face up monster on the field to the graveyard. So he gets around things with uh, destruction negations and stuff like that, like uh, Zen Main, who you're liable to see a lot of in the future, obviously. And then he also has the benefit of hitting things like Stardust and, of course, just any old big monster. Plus, he's 1200 1200, which makes him solid enough for what he does. And he can even attack directly if you flip summon him, you know, that turn he can. And if he gets attacked while he's in attack mode from getting flipped, unlike other guys, you might flip summon, like, say, Raikou, uh, who's not very good for this deck, that is, Raikou isn't. Um, when he gets attacked, he automatically shifts to defense mode. So you won't have to worry about it. Like, you know, you taking a lot of damage off of flip summoning him, he'll change to defense and you won't take the damage, which is a handy little effect. I'm also running one copy of Marshmallow, basically because I wanted another light for Blackluster Soldier. Uh, and he can be a good way to uh, set up things like uh, Ixies and Synchros and whatnot. And he also makes good fodder for Kai's the Shadow Monarch, of whom we're running three. Another really powerful card. Uh, two copies of Effect Veiler, who you can search out with Sangan, of course. And it's a tuner, and it's light. Uh, we are running one copy of Blackluster Soldier Envoy for the, begin the beginning, as I said before. And we're also running Gore's the Emissary of Darkness. In our spells, we've got Monster Reborn, Dark Hole. We're running two copies of Pot of Duality, because we have lots of things that are just going to be like a four-star you normal summon, and that's it. You don't really need a special summon every turn. One copy of Pot of Avarice, kind of reload those Tengus. One copy of Mind Control. One copy of Heavy Storm. Two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, you can always side that third one, of course. One copy of Solemn Judgment. Two copies of Solemn Warning. Good way to stop those big key plays. Two copies of Bottomless Trap Hole. Two copies of Dimensional Prison. And two copies of Compulsory Evacuation Device. Another good way to get rid of uh, unwanted synchros and fusion monsters and whatnot. And the extra deck is one copy of Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. One copy of Stardust Dragon. One copy of Scrap Dragon. One copy of Colossal Fighter. One copy of Black Rose Dragon. One copy of Ancient Sacred Wyvern, because that's uh, basically Effect Veiler plus Caius. It's a good finisher. One copy of Bryanac, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. One copy of Guy Knight, the Force of Earth. He's just a big six-star monster if you need it. Uh, one copy of TG Hyper Librarian. Um, he can be good if you're going to set up like a Tengu Glow Up Bulb thing to draw you the extra card. And uh, in a pinch, of course... You can always uh, sink him in order to have a threat if your opponents come back on their turn you think might be a synchro monster. This way you can draw a card to potentially answer their answer, that kind of thing. Magical Android, who's actually really quite a good card right now, just because she's a 5-star synchro that you can get easily off Tengu that is your light monster to potentially summon BLS. Life Gain doesn't hurt with uh, Solemn Warning either. Ally of Justice Cataster. Number 39, Utopia. Wind up Zen Main. Levier, the Sea Dragon. BLS and he work real well together. And number 17, Leviathan Dragon, basically because he's the bigger, better uh, rank 3 attacker. And that's the deck. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more cool videos.